Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a great day today. Today I'm going to a wedding which I'm super excited about and I figured I would show you my get ready process. I am gonna show you how to how I do my hair, makeup, and I'm gonna show you my outfit. If you're new here, hi, my name is Vivian. I'm a robotics engineer with a love for all things beauty and makeup related. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already. And let's just hop into it. Okay, so maybe you can tell, but I'm sitting on the ground in front of the window with a mirror just like sitting in front of me. There's not a ton of good lighting in this location, so I am literally just doing my best, so bear with me. Okay, so I did straighten my hair previously. I threw in a couple of curls, and honestly... I'm just gonna do a low pony and leave these front pieces out and then curl these front pieces so that they kind of frame my face more. Okay, I had to... Oh, I'm watching... I was watching Jane the Virgin, so if you see that in the background, please uh, ignore it. I had to change the angle a little bit because the sun is kind of like coming in and it was kind of washing me out. I figured now I would do my makeup. I have all my skincare on already. I use mostly Laneige items. I got this little Laneige like mini set and I was just using the items in there. Basically, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my makeup. I want this to last, so I'm gonna start with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I am gonna take out a, a couple pumps and spread this to keep my lips kind of nourished right now I'm using the Kosas wet lip oil I put a little bit on but I'm also like drinking coffee right now as well so I'm not I'm not too worried about that I'm gonna first go in with my rare beauty liquid touch foundation I just think this is one of the best shade matches for me right now and I think that it's super lightweight and it's a little bit more mattifying so as the day goes on and my oils peek through it's not gonna um, like mess up any of the makeup so I'm just gonna give this a good shake and then just spread this on with the doe foot and I'm just gonna use my sponge to blend this out so you can probably see I have a ton of acne right now specifically on this cheek and on my forehead so I'm gonna try and cover that up a little bit more than I normally would I don't have my NARS soft matte concealer with me though so I'm gonna try and do the best I can with the concealers I have currently I'm just gonna keep patting this out until I get a pretty even spread okay that is base all done. I'm just gonna run this down my neck just a little bit just to make sure that everything looks cohesive and blended together. For the acne spots, I'm gonna go in with this Bobbi Brown Skin Full Cover Concealer. I have mine in the shade Warm Beige. So this shade is a little bit too warm for my skin tone, just a tiny bit. But I'm going to basically spread this all over the super red parts on my skin right now. Um, I have a lot, a lot of acne right now. I am on my period, so my acne has been honestly out of control. So I'm going to let that sit just a tiny bit and I'm gonna take my Kosas Revealer Concealer. This is in the shade 04N and I'm gonna take this concealer and put it underneath my eyes. And again, I'm gonna take my sponge and blend this out. I am going to go, like I'm gonna blend out the acne first. For this makeup, I really want it to be soft glam. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna go with it right now, but I do want more of like a subtle eye and maybe a little bit of a bolder lip. Not super bold, but a little bit bolder. So that is concealer and 
foundation done you can probably still see some of the pigmentation underneath this specific acne on my chin is super painful right now like every time i touch it it hurts so i'm gonna try and leave that alone as much as i can i am gonna go in with cream and powder products just to really lock in that makeup and like make sure that everything stays where i want it to it's around noon now the wedding starts at 4 30 and so i really want this to last all night all day all night so the next thing i'm going to go in with is the rare beauty bronzer stick this is in the shade happy soul and i'm going to just place it on my cheekbones a little bit on my nose a little bit right under my lip and a little bit underneath my jaw to blend that out I'm going to take this Spectrum and Katie Jane Hughes brush this is the number four brush so I'm gonna just start stippling and I'm gonna try and make sure that it's blended out but it still kind of stays focused in this specific area that I put it With my forehead, I don't care as much. With my forehead, I kind of just do it haphazardly. And same with my jaw. It's really the cheekbones that I care the most about and want to look most sculpted. For cream blush, I'm going to go in with my rose ink blush in the shade Ophelia. This is a little bit pinker than what I want the final look to be. But for powder blush, I have a different blush that is more neutral that I... I'm hoping that it will like kind of even out that pinkness. So this is just a ColourPop F31 brush and I'm just gonna also just pat this on. Blush is done. I'm gonna go in with powder all over the face. Um, I have my Kosas Cloud Set Powder here, which is absolutely one of my favorites, and I think it is super effective at blurring your skin while setting your makeup while also not losing the glow. Speaking of glow, I forgot to put on highlighter, so I'm going to put on this Say Super Glow Glowy Super Gel. This is in the shade Star Glow. I'm just gonna oops, I'm just gonna take one pump of this right on the kind of like the palm of my hand here and i've seen jamie genevieve do this a ton but basically you're going to use that and focus this like where you want the glow and your palms are just a really good way of blending that out i would say this method is not the way the best way to use this specific product i feel like the say glowy super gel is just a little bit too liquidy for that to be super super um useful or if you do like half a pump i think it could work but if you're doing a full pump i think it's just a little bit too liquidy um so i'm gonna pat this out and I have a little bit on my nose here and I'm just gonna take my sponge and just go over it just to make sure that there's no like excess uh, product so you can see it adds like a really really pretty subtle glow like it's not glittery in any way it is just glowy which is exactly what I want so like I said I'm gonna go in with the Kosas cloud set powder now I have mine in the shade cushiony and this is just a BH Cosmetics number two brush. And I'm literally just gonna take this and go over my entire face. I forgot that I put bronzer there, so I'm just gonna blend that out real quick. And I'm just using my finger. And for underneath my eyes, I'm gonna go in a little bit uh, with, or with a little bit more precision. This is an e.l.f mini highlighting brush i'm not sure when i got this it came in like a little holiday set i think but i'm just gonna take a little bit of powder and go right underneath the eyes just to set that area really well so you can see that glow is still there definitely but my face feels way more set 
I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more specifically on this area where I tend to like put my hands a lot and that I tend to touch a lot and I want to just make sure that that stays really well. Okay, next for powder bronzer, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Primer Infuse Bronzer. This is in the shade Forever Sunkissed. This is in my project pan. So I'm just going to bronze up my cheekbones again. And this is a BH Cosmetics number one brush so kind of the same size as what i use for powder but this one is more domed whereas the number two brush is a little bit more flat that is it for bronzer but for powder blush i'm gonna go in with the patrick ta she's so la i didn't know why i said that said that like that this is the patrick ta she's so la uh, double take cream and powder blush. I'm just gonna go in with the powder side. I think I'll maybe put a little bit of the um, the cream side on top at the very end just to give a little bit more of a glow. So for now though, I'm just gonna take the powder, dip my brush in there, maybe tap off the excess, and then just tap this onto my cheeks. I really love these Pachita blushes because there is like a tiny, tiny bit of glitter. Not super noticeable, but there's just a little bit more of a sheen that makes your cheeks look super, super pretty, super glowy. Or it, it's not super glowy, but it's nice and pretty and glowy without being over the top. And I'm just going to stipple this, go over my nose with it. And my dress is a navy blue color. And so I'm going to incorporate that into my eye look just a tiny bit. But I think I want the focus to be the lips, which can be a little bit challenging just because like at weddings, you're going to be eating, you're going to be moving around. And I don't know if that is the, the most like plausible idea unless that lip will like truly stay, which... I have a plan for next i'm gonna do my brows i am just gonna do this off camera because or i'm just gonna speed through this because it usually takes me a while to do my brows but i'm basically just gonna use the nyx thicket stick it brow gel the nyx the brow glue and my abh brow pencil Okay, brows are done. I think that is one of the quickest times like I've ever done my brows ever. I am going to go in with an eyeshadow primer because like I said, I really want this makeup to last as long as I possibly can. So I just have, I have this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. This is just the original. This is like a little mini sample size. So I'm going to squeeze some of this out. I'm just going to take a tiny bit. I don't actually know how much I should be using. I don't think I'll need a lot though. So I'm just going to spread this out on my lid with my finger. So I'm going to use my ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. I haven't pulled this palette out in a relatively long time. So I'm going to go in with this shade lovely bunch this shade right here and i'm just going to use this as a transition shade just kind of laying this down as a base and i'm actually going to go in with just a little bit darker of a shade i'm going to grab this get kraken shade this lower left oh that is super powdery okay tap off the excess and I'm just gonna go on the outer corner just to deepen this up just a little bit so I also have this Nabla cutie palette in the midnight what should I say midnight variety shade I don't know there is a deep blue here this shade right here. I'm going to put this 
right along the lash line my dress is like a navy color so i think this would tie in the look i'm not gonna go super heavy with it i'm gonna try and just do like a little baby shadowing Those are not perfectly even, but if we're being completely honest here, that's probably the best I'm going to do. So we're just going to leave it at that. I'm going to go back in with the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. Why couldn't I think of that? And I'm going to go in with this top shade here, Palm Reader. And I'm just going to... Oh, that is way brighter than I thought. Okay. I'm just going to tap on this right in the middle and towards the inner corner but personally that's a little bit more than what i was going for so i'm gonna go back in with that first brush and this first shade lovely bunch here and i'm gonna try and just blend that out a little bit so it's not as intense it's a little bit better in my opinion and then for the inner corner, I'm going to take the shade Alma right here in the Cuties palette, and this just has a little bit more of a blue shift, so I think that'd be really pretty just in that inner corner just to tie everything together. And then again, I'm just going to go in with that same brush just to make sure that everything is blended. And I think that's really fun. Maybe a little bit much for this wedding, but that's okay. I think that's so fun. I'm, I'm really excited about that. Okay, now that most, or the base is totally done, I just to put on mascara and lips, I am going to take a sip of my coffee first. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the cream blush first from this Patrick Ta palette. I am literally going to use the same brush that I used for that rose ink blush. And I'm just going to come in here and just tap a little bit right on top just to make sure we get a little bit extra glow, a little bit extra dewiness. And then I'm going to run this just across the bridge of my nose. Just to clean things up a little bit more, I am going to grab my concealer. This is just the Kosas Concealer. And I'm going to take a tiny, tiny, tiny bit and just clean up this corner edge. And I'm going to use a concealer brush for that. This is just the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. And I'm literally just swiping this and then kind of patting out that harsh line as much as I can. The main star to make sure this makeup lasts is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Alright, we're just going to keep shifting because the sun keeps like moving this way. So I'm really sorry about that. But we're going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm just going to spray everywhere. We're gonna let that dry down. I basically want this makeup to last as long as it possibly can. I know I've said that a couple times, but I feel like the combo of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just like really, really gets the job done. Plus, I feel like setting spray is really nice for making sure that your products kind of sink, they like sink into your skin. I'm gonna take my brush, not brush, sponge, and I'm just going to pat over the excess just to make sure that things don't get all weird and uh, splotchy. Okay, so I do have my mascara, but I also got these falsies that I'm not sure I want to wear. These are the Ardell Naked Lashes in the 420 style. We're going to see. I'm going to curl my lashes first and put on my Thrive Cosmetics tubing mascara because I know I will be crying. I am positive that I will cry during this wedding. My lashes have definitely fallen though, so once this dries a little bit more, I am going to recurl them. As far as lips, I'm first going to line my lip liners with this NYX Matte Lip Liner. This is in the shade Sandstorm. 
I don't typically overline my lips because my lips are naturally relatively full so I'm just lining the outsides since my eye makeup is a little bit bolder I'm gonna do a little bit more subdued of a look so or of a lip look so I'm gonna use the Merit Slip lipstick but that's a little bit too nude it's a little bit too nude for this look so I'm gonna get, grab a little bit of my rare beauty lipstick in the shade bold and honestly just put this right on top I wiped that off because it felt like just a little bit too much product so I'm just gonna go in with the rare beauty lipstick in the shade bold because even though the shade name is called bold it's really not that bold i think it's just a really pretty like a brick red and i just went in and cleaned up the lines a little bit i think on camera the lipstick looks a lot brighter than it actually is in person so like i would say it is more of a brick red whereas on camera it turns up a little bit brighter Again, I'm sorry for the lighting changes. The sun keeps going in and out of the, like, there's clouds, it might rain, I don't know. But that is the finished makeup look, and I cannot wait to show you the final look with the dress and everything. So I will be right back. Okay, so this is the dress. I'm not sure how much you're going to actually be able to see, like, in the viewfinder, but... I'm gonna put like a, a little clip here for you to see but my main thing is that I'm not sure which accessories I should wear so I have two purse options and two like shawl options okay so the first option is this red Louis Vuitton purse it is this it's just like a really simple purse but it has like leather or I don't know so it's this red one which I don't know if this goes with the dress super well like I think red is a little bit too too much but I'm not sure or I have this little Burberry like handheld purse it's definitely too short to be like a shoulder bag whereas the Louis Vuitton one isn't like a shoulder bag this is just too short but it is cute it is nice and compact and I'm not really sure. I'm sure by the time that this video goes up, I've, I mean, you guys have already made a decision, or I have already made a decision, but I'm just not positive. I think I might go with the red one just because that way I can actually use it as a shoulder bag, or if I wanted to, I could use it as like a clutch, but this one I could also use like just as a clutch. I think that might be the move. Maybe I'll just use this one as I casually throw several thousand dollars worth of purses. I think I'll use this one and I'll just have it like a clutch, like just hold it. But I also have two different shawls here. Okay, this is an outdoor wedding, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to be a little bit, it's going to be a little chilly. The thing is, this this shawl is like super sheer but it matches my dress really well and since the material of this dress is also kind of sheer I thought this would be cute but it's not very warm since it is like literally just a piece of fabric whereas this one this one is like a a heavier material it's like an actual like sweater material but the color is I mean obviously different but it's like a neutral color so I think it would work and if I wear that or if I wear this with this purse I think that could work the thing is this purse isn't that big so I'm not even sure if it'll fit my phone I might have to take the case off to be able to fit it I think this might be the vibe I'm kind of feeling this I'm kind of feeling this a lot actually and if I want to just like hold my purse I can definitely do that I think I like it makeup wise I'm really happy with the way this turned out I'm not sure like how much you can tell but 
I really like this lip color and I really like the way my eye makeup turned out. I think it's just so fun with a little bit of pizzazz, if that makes sense. And this dress, this dress is actually my mom's from, I want to say like 30 years ago. My mom has had this dress in her closet for a very long time and I think that it is so stunning. It's so simple but it's so elegant and I'm just a really big fan. And as far as shoes go, I have them like on my feet right now but the shoes are these heels from Tory Burch. I want you guys to know this entire outfit belongs to my mom. Like the purse is my mom's, the dress is my mom's, the shoes are my mom's. I do not own this many luxury items. But my mom owns a lot. So the only thing that I bought myself is this shawl and I literally bought it off Amazon. So I know I'm coming off a little bougie, but like it's not me, it's my mom, but I get all of her stuff. So I think that's the fit. The last thing is jewelry which I'm gonna put on right now. As far as jewelry goes, this necklace is the only necklace that I ever wear. This is the necklace I've had since I was a little baby. For the other jewelry that I'm going to wear, I have a couple of things here that I think are super cute and super fun. Okay, so let me show you the jewelry pieces. Um, these earrings are from Target. I literally just bought them, so I will make sure to link them if I can find them. Some of these rings, this one is my mom's, so I don't know where it's from. This signet ring is from Nordstrom Rack, I believe. This little chain ring is actually from Etsy, so I will link that as well. And this, um boulder ring with the jewels is also my mom's that it has like the stone is like a navy color so it matches the dress these bangles are also my mom's basically a very large part of this outfit is my mom's and i'm not mad about it because I think everything just looks so stunning. I love my mom's taste in clothes and jewelry. Everything is super elegant, super simple, but like stunning. Like just will never go out of style. And I, I just love it. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am very excited about this wedding. I'm not sure if you can tell. And I feel very glam and very fun, which honestly the best feeling in the world and I feel very 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 pretty and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope to see you guys in my next one be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already and yeah bye